Deja vu is a condition that almost everyone has experienced at least once in life. Two out of every three people who watch this video have encountered or will encounter this situation. It is not seen much until the age of 8 to 9, it is most felt in the 20s and decreases as you get older. It is more common in people who watch a lot of movies or travel a lot. When you come to a new place while traveling or when you enter a new situation, you feel like you have experienced that place or situation before, or something like that. Deja vu is usually defined as the feeling of having experienced the current situation before, despite the realization that it is actually new. Deja vu has puzzled philosophers, neurologists, and writers for a very long time. The namesake of the concept is also the philosopher, Émile Boirac. In French, it means to see earlier. In other words, humanity has been experiencing this feeling since it knows itself, whether it puts its name or not. Freud calls it repressed emotions, while Jung attributes it to the collective unconscious. Déjà vu An event described by those who have experienced it as follows, I felt as if I had experienced an event that I was unlikely to have experienced before, as if I had experienced it one-on-one. -on -one. They say it was as if I had been in that environment at that moment at that point. For example, you are walking around the streets of New York, you enter a bookstore, the people around you, the books on the shelves, the smell of the environment, all the sounds, the sound of a peddler passing by on the street, you remember all this in all its details. You've experienced this moment before, just like this. Or you're sitting with a group of friends, you're discussing something, talking fervently about a topic, and suddenly I've told you all this exactly this way before. You even think that I remember what kind of reaction the other person will have at the end of my sentence. This is an experience that many people have had. Although there are no exact statistics on its frequency, according to estimates, between 60% and 80% of the population experience this condition at least once in their lives. While this rate increases even more, especially in young adults, experts describe the condition of people who experience this strange event as a kind of matrix error and have not been able to find an exact cause of deja vu. For some, it may also be proof that we are living in a simulation. However, there are still some theories about the possible causes underlying deja vu. First of all, it is very difficult for specialists to work directly on deja vu. Because it appears suddenly without any warning, and mostly living people do not have any health problems that are thought to play a role. We shouldn't blame scientists either, because after all, you can't say let's study and observe such a situation in a laboratory environment. The deja vu experience is an instant experience, something that happens in a very short time. In fact, it is happening so fast that someone who is unaware of this phenomenon may not even be aware that he is experiencing déjà vu. When we turn to theories, we encounter memory as the place where many theories come together. The most accepted of these theories are as follows. First, the theory of split perception. According to this theory, you may have actually seen or experienced something twice. In this case, you can believe that you are experiencing deja vu. And this happens in the following way, when you see or experience something for the first time, you may not have noticed it, you may not have paid enough attention. But your brain may have stored this memory without you realizing it. Because our brain is a very complex and fast-running computer, after all, and it can build a moment by filling in the gaps even from a glance or an experience that lasts less than a second. So he may have created a lot more information than you realize. In short, you've actually experienced that incident before. But because you didn't pay enough attention the first time, or because you were busy with something else at that moment, you may feel like you have experienced deja vu, because your brain remembers this experience without you realizing it. But if you say that this is not possible, there is no possibility that I have experienced this before, another theory comes up. A theory that we can also call short circuits or small defects in the brain. Even if it's not in the matrix here, even if it's not in the matrix, a slight malfunction in the circuits in our brain that work with electrical signals can give you this feeling. We are talking here about a defect similar to that of those who experience epilepsy attacks. From the point of view of deja vu, 
at that moment, the mechanism of your brain that follows that moment and the part that brings memories may be working at the same time. In other words, he may be processing the event that happened at that moment as if it were a memory that had happened before. Although this condition may seem like a disorder in the brain, there is nothing to worry about as long as it is not experienced constantly and regularly. According to another theory about the processes in the brain, when our brain processes new information, it normally records the information first in short-term memory, and then in long-term memory after sufficient reinforcement. But sometimes a kind of short path may be open from short-term memory to long-term memory, directly reaching long-term memory. In this case, although you have just experienced the event, you may feel that you have experienced it a very long time ago. Or, again, in this context, some kind of delayed information processing may be taking place in your brain. The information you receive with your senses, such as sight or touch, is transmitted to your brain in two different ways. If one of these ways causes information to be transmitted to your brain more slowly, albeit very slightly, it can cause the feeling that the same event happened at different times, as if it arrived at different times. Nevertheless, one of the most logical theories, as we said at the beginning, points out that you are experiencing that moment in a similar way, although not exactly in that way. Professor of Psychology Dr. Anne Cleary has also done a study that supports this theory. And Cleary and her friends designed similar spaces in a virtual reality environment and placed subjects in them. The layouts of these places resemble each other, but they are normally unrelated places. Sometimes they are so irrelevant that even between a bedroom and a clothes store they have left small enough hints to make a decadent feeling. Subjects wearing virtual reality glasses try one. During the phase, they wandered in such places. For example, they entered that bedroom. They then participated in the experiment too. At some stage of the phase, when they came to the clothes store, they were asked if they were experiencing deja vu. More and more people have felt that they have experienced this feeling. And then they tried something new. Two, in the phase, they did not show the clothes store, but that bedroom again. Some of the subjects forgot that they had seen that room before. And it has been observed that these forgetful people experience more deja vu. So maybe those who have experienced deja vu have indeed experienced a moment similar to that moment in the past, but then they forgot about it. But what about those who say, I've seen this before and now I know what's going to happen? Can we also test this prophetic feeling? They also did this with the virtual reality device. This time, they not only showed the places, but also created a walking route inside these places and recorded it as a video. For example, in this place, you entered through the door on the left, turned to the right, moved a little to the left diagonal, and then turned left again. They showed the video of this movement in the first phase. In the second phase, they created another video, this time by making almost the same movements in the waiting room. But they stopped the movement before that last turn. The question they are looking for the answer to is this, will those who have seen such a moment and experienced deja vu be able to predict the next direction of return? Interestingly, no. The direction in which they couldn't turn around. At such a moment, the number of people experiencing deja vu is increasing, but they cannot accurately predict what the next step will be. But they feel they can guess. Scientists have called it the deja vu illusion. These experiments show that we can study even things that once seemed inexplicable and impossible to reproduce in the laboratory. Of course, there are also those who try to explain such experiences in a mystical way. Those who are looking for a mystical reason are trying to explain the situation experienced in this regard by claiming that he remembers a moment he had in his previous life again. Or those who say that he saw in his dream that he was experiencing this moment. Of course, these are allegations that need proof, and unfortunately, these are facts that we cannot prove anything without talking to the previous life self of the person in question. That's it for today, friends, see you in the next video, goodbye. Don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on notifications. I'm happy you're with me.